Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a collab video. I am so excited. I am collabing today with Drea CN here on YouTube. You guys have heard me rave about her. I really, really love her. She is an amazing, amazing YouTuber. Love all of her content. She's one of those few people that I literally watch every single video. I absolutely love her. She actually had asked me to do this video with her. Uh, Jacqueline Hill originally uh, made this ride or die tag. It's funny how her and I, both Dre and I, never did the ride or die tag. I just don't know why I never did it, but I never did. And she came up with the color edition version of it. And of course, if you haven't followed me for a very long time, you guys are well aware that I am a color lover all the way. I love color in every single aspect of my life. Drea is another person that I really appreciate because she also uses a lot of color. So I am I don't feel like I'm by myself when it comes to colorful eye looks, colorful just colorful things in general. Before I get into the tag, if you are new to my channel, welcome to the family. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you do like it. And don't forget to check out Drea's channel and her video as well. Everything will be linked down below as well as up here so you guys can check out her version of this. Now obviously this tag was uh, originally made to have every single aspect of your makeup routine. But obviously there is no colorful foundation, primer, powder, Powder, so on and so forth so obviously our uh, categories are more shrunk down more limited but we do have a lot of things there is absolutely no nudes allowed in this tag so I can almost guarantee you guys you're not gonna see anything nude on this tag at all the only thing that you will see that is nude around here are my shoulders basically <laughs> so let's get on with the first set I'm gonna start off uh, we had a cate category for nail polish I actually don't have a nail polish favorite um, Sally Henson in general is my favorite formula but I do not have a specific color that I gravitate towards I am a lover of all colors I am an equal opportunity lover of all colors so I can't really pick and choose a specific color and you guys are going to see that as a trend in my tag because it was so hard for me to pick just one color. I'm not even joking with you guys. It's easier for nudes for me to pick because they're like, oh yeah, that one. But for me, color is very, very hard to pick. Now the rest of the categories are makeup categories. We decided to go with a drugstore and high-end version. That way we do cover all ends of everyone. So if you can't, want or don't want to splurge on a high end we can give you an alternate at a drugstore so the first ones that I do want to start out with is lips now I am going to let you guys know that I couldn't pick just one lip color one lip um, in general so I do have lip formulas that I love and would highly recommend and are my ride or die I thought about these and if all my makeup was gone what makeup line would I go for directly to start picking all the colors that I want to have and that's how I went about this because I just could not pick one color at all. First off I'm going to start off with is lip liners. The drugstore version of lip liners that I would definitely recommend and are my ride or die. I love these to death. They're super super smooth, creamy, nice variety of colors is the Milani Color Statement Lip Liners. So this is what they look like here. This one in particular is called Halt Pink. See how beautiful that is? Very creamy. You guys, I've had these for a long time and they're still creamy. Yes, you do have to sharpen them up, but that is a small little sacrifice you do have with these, but the creaminess the way you can wear these alone and they're so comfortable they're not super drying and they have a great variety of colors my shirt's gonna annoy me you guys so just bear with me while i try to keep it down if not eventually just go back up as far as high end in all honesty i've never been um a die hard fan of this brand but i do love the variety of their colors and when I looked at my high-end lip liners, these are the ones I owned the most, so obviously I love these a lot. They're the MAC lip liners. This one in particular is magenta. This is just a beautiful color. I actually prefer the sharpening ones. I'm just going to put my shirt up because it's going to annoy me. I love the sharpening ones um, because they last longer. They don't dry as fast. I feel like they just, you get your money's worth out of it. Yes, they're a little bit more drying. They're definitely a lot more drying than the Milani ones. 
but they still have a beautiful array of colors and you get a lot like compared to the Milani you are getting a little bit more of the product so I feel like it is worth it so my ride or die lip liner formulas is the Milani color statement and then the Mac of the high end lip glosses um if you guys follow me for a while I obviously am not a lip general junkie um so I don't have a lip gloss uh line that I would say I'm I don't I rarely wear lip glosses. One, I have three children, two or two and under, so they're all over my face constantly, and I can't stand the whole hair in my mouth kind of situation. If I want a moisturizing lip, I get a moisturizing lipstick basically and just use a lip liner under it. So I can't even tell you that I have a lip gloss formula in general. I've heard Marc Jacobs are beautiful. I just don't buy lip glosses. I have decluttered so many of my lip glosses and I haven't purchased a lip gloss in almost two years. So unfortunately, I'm not gonna lie to you just to have something in the category. Lipsticks, oh goodness gracious, this was very, very hard. Now for drugstore lipsticks, I do have a specific color that I would hands down purchase this has survived so many declutters for a good reason and this is the NYX matte lipstick in indie flick this started my crave and craziness for that vibrant bright color this is absolutely stunning I love this color this is the very very first um lipstick that I did purchase to test out to see if a bright lip look nice on me and I absolutely love it. So if I were to choose one ride or die bright lip it would be this one. Indie, Indie Flick from NYX. It's the matte line. This was raved about years ago on YouTube. That's how I ended up buying it. It is so creamy but it is completely matte so I do feel comfortable wearing it without a lip liner and I don't have like a glossy mess. For any of my bright lips I tend not to go too glossy because they are a bright lip so you don't want them all over your face and you do kind of have to babysit them more than a nude. Now as far as my high end, oh my goodness. I kind of feel guilty because I really wanted to pick two lines, but if I were honestly going to pick one, oh, this seriously kills me, you guys. It seriously kills me, but I'm going to go with the Marc Jacobs line. This color in particular is Cora Cora. I wore the in a few videos recently, and a lot of you guys love this. This is more like a raspberry orange color. I love the line in general of these. And I'm, I'm telling you, like by 0.5 of a of a score, I would pick the NARS Audacious lipstick line as well. Like I love both of these lines. Take all my lipsticks away. I'm not even joking, and I'd be happy with just the Marc Jacobs and my NARS Audacious. Those I will spend the money on. These are well made, beautiful colors. I can trust that any color in both of those lines will not look patchy, will not separate, will not dry out my lips, will not be super matte, it's not super glossy and creamy. It's just a perfect formula for both of those. So I did choose the Marc Jacobs ones just because they're a little bit more, you know, fancy looking in their packaging. They're a lot heavier, they're beautiful, but I'm going to cheat and say that NARS Audacious. That's one of my, what do you call it? My honorable mentions is NARS Audacious. I really would love that one. Now last category in the lips area is liquid lipsticks. This was another tough one, but I think I narrowed it down. As far as my drugstore, I absolutely love the Wet n Wild Cat, the Liquid Cat Suit line. They came out with one of the best liquid lipsticks at it, such an affordable price. This one is called Oh My Dolly and Oh My Goodness, look how bright that is. And yes, I would definitely rock that. I love their oranges. They have two different types of orange. They have reds. They have deep vampy colors. They're absolutely beautiful. Some of these will be patchy on your lips, but the bright colors are so beautiful and bright. They're not like Oh, it's borderline bright, it's a rosy uh, kind of color. No, 
this is neon and that's what I like in uh, my brightness I just love it to stand out so I would go with the uh, wet n wild catsuit line if I were to choose an honorable mention I would say the Ofra liquid lipsticks they are beautiful they have a beautiful a range of colors as well so that would be my close second when it came to my drugstore version as far as my high end this was another toughie this was another toughie but oh, I'm gonna cheat on my favorite because I just like the formula just a tad bit more on these and as far as my high end I'm gonna go with dose of colors these are just a tad bit more comfortable in the long run but I would absolutely recommend these they came out with more colors these are super bright I recently wore pinky promise in a video and let me tell you a lot of people had asked me what in the world was on my lips look how close that is to oh my dolly this is such a beautiful formula another one that I love is coral crush I just can't pick one color they're all absolutely beautiful love the formula love the line my second and my honorable mention would be my Kat Von D liquid lipsticks the reason why I didn't choose my Kat Von D liquid lipsticks is because they're a little bit drier in the eighth hour versus these in the eighth hour if you know what I mean but literally not by much so my honorable mention and my second favorite would be Kat Von D and Kat Von D does have such an amazing array of different colors so that will suit anyone anyone the uh, the dose of colors do as well they have expanded the line they're more wearable colors but their brights are legit brights they're amazing now on to cheeks we have three categories for cheeks so here we go ladies and gentlemen the first one that I have is a matte blush what matte blush would I highly recommend from the drugstore if you are looking for a bright matte uh, cheek product that oh my goodness you have to use a light hand but you're gonna get your money's worth and it is a drugstore one I would say go for the sleek you can find these at Ulta now which is awesome this trio is called pink spirit they have single blushes and they have trios they have cream blushes wait till you see this one these are all completely matte and look at the brightness of these you can actually get away with using these as eyeshadows as well the pigmentation on these and I'm barely touching these look at this if you want that bright bright cheek here you go these are great these do have a learning curve because they're so pigmented you do need to kind of be careful you can't go crazy on these these are a little bit powdery because they are a drugstore but they're so affordable and if you want a bright pink an orange dark brown you name it they have something for you in the line they're awesome I have loved these for years these have stood the test of time and I would recommend these definitely for a matte blush you're gonna find something bright in there as far as high end I would I love the formula of these but this one in particular is my all-time favorite a matte bright blush every time I wear it I just literally like I look in the mirror and I'm like wow why did I stop using you and it is the Tarte flush blush this has been around for a long time not many people actually like this but you guys this is so so pretty it really is beautiful if you use a light hand and really blend it out it looks very beautiful and natural it doesn't have to be as pigmented as it does look in the actual pan but it is beautiful definitely my all-time favorite bright high-end matte blush is the Tarte flush blush and I think it is only selective to the Tarte website I have not seen it anywhere else lately so if you really want it I believe the Tarte uh, website is the only place you can find that one now on to shimmer as far as my drugstore version you guys this is another line that I constantly rave about it is the black radiance blushes this one in particular is called raspberry look at this color and it does not transfer on your cheeks like this I have worn this on camera I've used it on camera it is beautiful these blushes do not swatch as well as they go and apply on the actual cheek but look at that 
they don't swatch as well. So you're not going to get, you're going to get a patchy, scratchy kind of um, swatch, but on the cheeks, oh my gosh, these are beautiful. This does not have such a major glitter or metallic-y or shimmery type of uh, finish. It has more like a sheen where it looks natural on your cheeks. They have another one called, this one's raspberry, warm, uh, warm berry, I believe. It's a little bit deeper than this one. Another one that I love. Super bright but beautiful on the cheeks. Now my pick for high end shimmery blush is very, very hard. So I'm actually going to go with a full line of them. It's the NARS blushes, the cheek blushes. They just come out with these outrageous colors, but the formula makes them so wearable, so usable that anybody can use it. If you have a heavy hand, you can use them. If you barely tap into your blush, you, could, you can use them as well. They're very, very user friendly and I love that. This one just is Taj Mahal. This is a beautiful one for the summertime. Holy moly. You want a blush? Look at that. This is it. And these, again, you can use on your cheeks. You don't have to make it this deep and this bright, but it looks gorgeous. If you have deep uh, skin, you're going to love these. They have such different colors. They have the bright pinks. They have the cotton candies. They have the deep plummy colors. They have those brown colors. You name it, you can find it in this formula. So if I were to choose one formula, one high-end brand, it would be the NARS Cheek Blushes. They're absolutely stunning, and they have all the colors that I would absolutely love in the rainbow. Last category for cheeks is highlighter. I do actually do not have a drugstore highlighter that is either duochrome or shifts into a different color or is just a different color in general. I really don't. I tend to grab more higher ends because it's more of a natural look on the cheeks. I don't like that blue, purple, green type of streak on my face. So I don't have anything as far as a drugstore. If you guys have any to recommend me, let me know because I'd be more than happy to check it out. But as far as the high end, you guys, these took the cake this year and this one in particular was one that I was not interested in until I saw it on someone else and I have fallen head over heels for it. Super unique to my collection and definitely one that I would repurchase if it was ever taken away from me. It is the new Opal or the Becca Light Chaser um, highlighters and this one's in Opal Flashes Jade. This one looks awkward in the pan. You're looking at it and like, that is not going to work for anybody, Alex. What are you talking about? But you guys, it is absolutely stunning. It shifts green, but it's such a wearable... Oh, I just... I've worn it on camera, you guys. So I actually did uh, seven different ways to wear wearable um, colorful looks. So obviously this might not be for everyone. I'll link it up here so you guys can see it. And I did use this on camera. It looks so beautiful. Just this and a natural look. It'll give you a different type of uh, pop of color to your cheeks. Beautiful. I love it. They have about five of them in the line. I own three. But this one by far is my most unique ever. And my most uh, loved one out of all three. This one surprised me so much. Okie dokie guys, my favorite category. I kept it for last because you guys know if you follow me for a while, I am such an eye shadow junkie. I, oh, I do not discriminate when it comes to eyeshadow palettes, colorful, nude, brights, does not matter. I own them all. So we're going to start off with eyeliners. The first category is drugstore. In all honesty, Eyeliners has always been hard for me. I have never actually found a colorful eyeliner that stays in my waterline, that doesn't travel, that doesn't fade throughout the day. So I really don't have an actual eyeliner to share with you guys as far as drugstore and high end. I do have eyeliners that are black that I would say that are my ride or dies, but those lines don't have any colorful lines or those lines or those makeup brands don't have colorful um, liners that I have actually tried. One of them would be the Marc Jacobs. They just came out with colorful ones, but I don't own any to really tell you guys if they're my ride or die. And then as far as my drugstore would be the Milani one. I can't remember what it's called. Here it is right here. This Milani Supreme Cole Kajal pen, uh, pens. They don't have them in colorful, so I can't really say. But I do have something that I do wear in my waterline 
that is hands down my all-time favorite colorful ones that I do wear on my waterline that stay all day long these are actually discontinued so I would have to go on eBay or Amazon to purchase some but honestly these stay in my waterline and they're not even eyeliners they are actual eyeshadow pencils this is the Avon extra lasting eyeshadow pencil and I have them in quite a few different colors this one right here is one of my favorites this is aquamarine it is what I'm wearing in my waterline today and I did use it in that um, video that I and share with you guys up the seven wearable pops of color. Look how beautiful it is. Look how creamy these is. I can put these in my waterline and I'm telling you they last all freaking day. Absolutely love these. If I were to find something that is now available that isn't discontinued that's very similar to this line, I would say the Mally Shadow Sticks would be it and the Laura Mercier Caviar Sticks. The only reason why I didn't put those in this category is because they only have neutral shades in them and nudes are not allowed. So that's why I went with these because if they had colorful uh, shadow sticks, I would so put those in here. These last all day. I'm not even kidding you and they're super, super comfortable and I do not have to... It's just literally one pass. I don't have to go like this. I don't have to do it twice. It's literally one pass. Next category that I have is pigments. Pigments is some of the most fun wearable things that I have in my collection. Let me just take off this eyeliner before it gets everywhere. The most fun things that I love to purchase and I can find very fun things in them. Now as far as drugstore, it's very difficult for me to pick one. But I have a line that has a variety of different colors in them. Well, at least they did. I don't know if they have them anymore. But I know they, the line is still out there. But I don't know if they have colorful ones as, as far as I know. Um, what I'm talking about is Jessie's Girls Eye Dust. These are very unique. They have a shift to them. Most of their pigments are kind of like duochrome Um They're very inexpensive. I can find mine at Rite Aid. I know if you have certain Rite Aids that carry Jessie's Girls, you can find them. If not, you can find them online, but they're very inexpensive. This one is called Sunlit Cactus, and it's like a, it has like a shift to it. It's a yellow, gold, green, chartreuse color. It is beautiful. I really like pigments for this reason because you can find very unique colors in your collection. And uh, Jessie's Girls, it has a very, very, very good range of um, colorful pigments. As far as high end, there is one in particular that I absolutely love, one specific color that I absolutely love, and that is the Sugar Pill Pigment. These are vegan, cruelty-free. This one's called Asylum. I literally went to New York City to purchase this one because I could not find it online. It was sold out everywhere. And this is that pinky, peachy, orangey shift. Oh, and this formula of pigments is so velvety, creamy. It's undetectable. It's so soft to the touch, you guys. And very, very pigmented. They have so many colors in this line. I love sugar pill pigments. Love them to death. Absolutely, I'm obsessed. I own almost every color they came out with. They're, um, I think it's called... Penelope was one of their famous ones. I had to track that sucker down too because it was sold out everywhere. Let's go on to glitter. Glitter, a formula line for drugstore that I would say is my ride or die is the NYX. Um, these are face and body glitters. This one in particular is one of my favorites. This one is called, let's see if it has a name because they always have numbers to them. It's 03, oh here it is, teal. It's beautiful. This is a recent line that they just came out with, but the line in general is beautiful. They came out with a really good innovative way. They have a sifter on here, so it's not super crazy. You can travel with these, and you can use them on your face and your body. They are safe for your face and your body, which is awesome. They came out with, I think, 12 to 14 different colors. So these are definitely my ride or die glitters if I were to choose one from the drugstore. And as far as high end, this line has just blown me away. I own every single one they came out with because I love them that much. I consider these glitters because they're not a full-on shadow. These are the Urban Decay um, Moon Dust shadows. I own every one and this one in particular is one of my favorites. This is Stargazer. These are so beautiful. You have to have a base with these or you have to put a glitter 
ba uh, like a glitter paste glue under them because alone they're not going to give you so much payoff as if you have something so this one see how i mean like you don't you're not getting a lot of pigment to it but they're beautiful so i consider these glitter glitter toppers um to place on a shadow or you have to really build them up with a glitter glue for them to adhere to your eyes the color range is awesome in these i think if i remember correctly there's probably like about 14 of them and yes i own every single one of them they're very expensive so i always wait until like around black friday when they're half off around the christmas time is when take advantage of them they are a great great uh, pigment they have a nice color payoff and you don't have such of a mess when it comes to glitter when you have these sifters cream shadows this was pretty tough but I did I chose this one due to the formula if I were to choose a drugstore one I would say the Maybelline color tattoos if you guys follow me for a while I am probably one of those few people in the world that owns every single one that has ever come out I love these because they are more of a drier formula and I have very, very oily skin, very oily lids, and I need something to hold my shadows and last. I love this line in general. They came out with the funky duochrome, the bright colors, the neon colors, the deep colors, those everyday colors. Like you, I have everything you can think of in just these. If I were to get rid of any other shadow, kind of creamy, um, product I would just keep my Maybelline color tattoos I just love these so much this one is pomegranate punk one of most people's favorite It is just a nice one to wear every day and let me tell you guys I have some for a long time and I went through mine to see I store them like this I store them like this in a um, plastic drawer a heavy-duty one because these are super heavy and none of mine have ever really dried out. I cannot say that these are dried out at all. They are still creamy. They still work. They're not separating around the edges. So if you store them like that and don't put them directly in the sun or in a heat or an event, they will last. They will last a long time. So as far as my cream shadows, I'd say my Maybelline color tattoos for the drugstore. Now for high end, this was very tough because I own a lot of creamy high end products that I absolutely adore. But they do not have bright colors. So that's the reason why I went with these. These are the Makeup Forever color paints. Did a full video review on these and I did a swatch video of all the ones that I own. And the reason why I chose these, for instance, over the milk pigment ones is because the technology in these does not give you that raisiny, crepey looking eyelid. It gives you that smooth eyelid look all day and when these set, these set. My only downside to these is you don't get a lot of product in them. They're half full of air and they're pretty expensive, but you don't need a lot to really get a color payoff. This color is M24. This is the one that won me over in the whole entire range. I just love this color. It is exactly what you see in this tube is exactly what you're getting. And if I swatch it, I'll never be able to take it off. So that's why I'm not swatching it. All right, guys, we're down to two more categories and I promise you guys we're almost done. I know this is a long video. Single eyeshadows. If I were to choose one single eyeshadow, it would be the one on my eyelids. This is the NYX Mermaid Highlight, or Mermaid Single Eyeshadow, Prismatic Shadow. This is just so beautiful. You guys can see it on my eyes. Look how, this is not even wet. I did not wet this. I did not put a glitter glue under this. I did not enhance this in any way, shape, or form. All I did was use this shadow. And look at that vibrancy on my eyelids. Super stunning, great a range of colors in this, but this color in particular just definitely is one of my ride or die shadows as far as single shadows. High end, I'm picking a formula line because I cannot just pick one out of these. It's the Kat Von D single eyeshadows, you guys. These don't get enough love that they should. I'm not even gonna swatch this one. I did not, this is the only shadow that I'm gonna share with you guys today that I have not on my eyes. If I swatch this, it will stain my skin. It will legit stain my skin. I have a chartreuse green in here. I have a burgundy. I have all the ones that she came out with. Love this line of single shadows. If I were to get rid of all of my single shadows, I would hands down 
repurchase all of these again. These are expensive, but you get a lot in the pan and you're getting your money's worth because you don't need a lot to pack on a punch with these but the colors oh my goodness gracious this one's called paranoid it is a beautiful green or blue color oh love these Kat Von D single shadows are definitely my favorite as far as a high-end goes now for palettes you guys this was so tough but I think I narrowed it down to two good ones that I have as far as drugstore, there's nothing actually at a drugstore store that I can go to CVS, that I can go to Rite Aid, that I can go to Target and really say, this, every shadow is amazing. You're going to get what you see in the pan. They're so blendable. They are buildable. They are not patchy. I can't find anything at the actual drugstore, but I do have something that is a drugstore price that you can purchase online and it's under $13. I actually bought this half off when they have sales because they constantly have sales. So I bought this for $6.50. I'm not even exaggerating. It is the Coastal Sense Create Me palette in the number one because they have one and two. This is what I'm wearing on my eyes, you guys. Oh my goodness. You guys, if you could feel the creaminess of these shadows, I am barely putting my fingers in here and look at this these are some of the best look it's stained at my fingers I can't even get it off these are some of my favorite colorful shadows that I own as far as inexpensive drugstore quality these are just to die for you guys that red look at this that red Oh, this is going to stain my arm, but I can care less. These are amazing, amazing. This is what I'm wearing as transition colors. I did not wear any nudes at all today on my eyes. This is all that I used to transition. These are all completely matte. So if you don't want anything shimmery, these are completely matte. They're going to work amazing. I actually use these two as my crease and then I added a little bit of orange on the edges over here I added this purple no I actually used the purple from the other one but I did use these these are great I use these all the time it looks like I barely use them because I don't need a lot of product I just bounce my brush in there I don't need to swirl because if you swirl you're looking for color payoff hands down recommend this and I would always have this in my collection I can get rid of all of my drugstore um, colorful palettes and this is the one that I would definitely keep I would so tell you guys if you're looking for something 650 I paid for this and full price is 1295 I believe as far as my high-end and my very last product I'm going to share with you guys this one is very very tough but the reason why I chose this one is because it had absolutely no nudes and I still think you can still get it at stores or at the Urban Decay website and that's the Urban Decay electric palette I wore every single color in this palette for a full week I did that Emily Noel and Kristen game um, challenge that they did one summer and at the time I was working in an office I was working in a professional office and it so happened that that week we were doing professional pictures updating our professional pictures on our website and I was wearing this palette that week <laughs> I wore every single color the pigmentation the uh, these blend amazingly like ah oh, these these are pressed pigments so they're gonna work so so good I don't understand why they got rid of this one this one's one of my favorites I love the color variation that you have and I only wore these colors and they were so wearable you just gotta know how to use them but they were wearable I wore every one of these so this is the reason why I chose this one because it doesn't have any type of nudes in it if if I could choose one that had nudes obviously I would choose the Kat Von D Mi Vida Loca palette but that has nudes in it and ain't no nudes allowed so that's why I'm going with this one if you have it don't ever get rid of it because this is a great great palette alright guys now that I have exhausted you guys and if you've stayed this long thank you guys so so much Please go tell those that you want to do this tag, to do this tag, go to their channel, comment on their channels to say, you know, do this tag. This is a fun tag. It's just a, a nice creative way to see what you would choose as far as colorful 
options because everyone chooses everyday neutral options because that's what we normally wear every day but it's different to see somebody who doesn't mind wearing colors and what would your favorite youtuber choose as far as colors i think it'd be fun to see a lot of people do this tag so thank you guys so much for watching i will leave all the categories down in the description box so if anybody that you tag and you tell them to do it they can check our channels out and look in the description box just to grab the actual categories that we did choose if I were to give you guys honorable mentions, I seriously would be here for another 30 minutes. I'm not even exaggerating because it took me about three days and nights to go over this over and over and over to really pick out things for you guys because I am such a color lover. I love color. So thank you guys again for watching. Don't forget to check out Drea's channel. I will catch you guys in my next video. And don't forget that a smile is the best makeup a girl can wear. Bye, guys.